If you've got red skin and you're blushing very easily, you might have rosacea. In this video, I'll help you understand what rosacea is, what causes it, how it can be treated, and where you can find more information about it. So first of all, what is rosacea? Well, it's a common skin condition that mainly affects the face. It usually appears in fair-skinned people, but it can show up in any skin type. Now, it can start at any age, but it's most common in young adults. Whilst it's more common in women, it tends to be more severe in men. Now, rosacea is a long-term condition that can vary from mild to severe, and typically it affects the cheeks, the forehead, the chin, and the nose. Sometimes it can even affect the neck and the chest. Now, rosacea shows up as persistent redness, small bumps, and pus-filled spots that look like acne. It can also cause redness and irritation in the eyes and eyelids. Now, the exact cause of rosacea isn't fully understood. It seems to be related to genetics, immune system issues, and environmental factors. Triggers like alcohol, exercise, extreme temperatures, hot drinks, spicy foods, and stress can make it worse. And people with rosacea are often more sensitive to the sun. Now, rosacea can run in families, but there's no clear genetic links. So in terms of the symptoms of rosacea, well, it can cause a rash and blushing that might make you feel embarrassed, can lower your self-esteem, and it can even lead to anxiety or depression. Now, the affected skin can feel very hot or sting. Some people with rosacea may also have eye problems like inflammation of the front part of the eye, which can cause blurred vision. If you've got symptoms affecting your eyes, it's important to see a dermatologist or an optician. Now, in terms of what it looks like, it often starts with a tendency to blush easily. Over time, the central areas of the face can turn a deeper shade of red, with small, dilated blood vessels, bumps, and pus-filled spots. In some cases, the facial skin can swell, especially around the eyes. Men might experience an overgrowth of the oil-secreting glands on the nose, causing it to become enlarged and red, a condition that's called rhinophyma. Now, how is it diagnosed? Well, usually it's diagnosed based on its appearance. You don't typically need any specific tests. And whilst there's no cure for rosacea, long-term treatments can help manage it. So in terms of treatments, there are several ways to manage and treat rosacea, starting off with topical treatments. Now, you can apply medications to the affected areas to control inflammation. It might take at least eight weeks to see the full effects, however. Now, some treatments specifically target the redness associated with rosacea. On the other hand, there are oral antibiotics. For moderate to severe rosacea, antibiotics can help with inflammation. Common antibiotics include tetracycline, doxycycline, and erythromycin. Your doctor might also suggest using the cream and the oral antibiotic together at the same time. In terms of other treatments, well, for eye problems, an eye specialist can help manage severe eye issues that are related to this. In terms of the nose issues, a dermatologist or plastic surgeon can reduce the enlarged nose. In terms of redness and blood vessels, laser therapy can help treat redness and dilated blood vessels. And for blushing, beta blockers or clonidine might be prescribed. In severe cases, isotretinoin tablets are sometimes used. Now, there are some things you can do at home as well to help manage your rosacea, and we'll cover this briefly now. So I'd encourage you to use a sunblock with an SPF of at least 30 every day. I'd encourage you to gently cleanse your skin, so avoid rubbing or scrubbing your face very hard, and then use a gentle soap substitute. Try to use a non-perfumed moisturizer if your skin is dry or sensitive, and try to keep a diary of what worsens your rosacea and try to avoid those triggers. You can also use makeup to cover rosacea, and skin camouflage can help hide excessive redness. Finally, it's worth avoiding using acne treatments and corticosteroid creams unless these have specifically been recommended by your health provider. Now, the final thing to mention is that some medicines can worsen blushing. Your doctor might adjust your medication accordingly if this is the case. Now, for more detailed information and additional resources, please check out the links in the description box of the video. And as ever, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.